Another concern for water treatment operators are salts, especially those containing calcium and magnesium. Water in contact for extended periods of time with soil and rock formations can acquire salts and minerals or hardness. The two ions most commonly associated with hardness in water are calcium and magnesium. Hardness increases the amount of soap needed to produce lather and causes scale inside water pipes, heaters, and boilers. There are two types of hardness. Carbonate hardness, caused primarily by calcium bicarbonate, and non-carbonate hardness, caused by calcium and magnesium salts like calcium sulfate, calcium chloride, magnesium chloride, and magnesium sulfate. In water treatment, lime is used to remove chemicals that cause carbonate hardness, and soda ash is used to address non-carbonate hardness. Other processes like ion exchange or membranes are also used to remove the substances. In addition, lime raises the pH because it releases hydroxide into the water. During treatment for carbonate hardness, lime is the only softening chemical needed. This is the reaction for calcium bicarbonate removal. Here, calcium hydroxide, or slaked lime, is added to calcium bicarbonate to form calcium carbonate, which is relatively insoluble and precipitates out. To remove the magnesium bicarbonate, it takes two separate reactions and twice the lime needed to remove the calcium bicarbonate. In this formula, lime reacts with magnesium bicarbonate to form calcium carbonate, which precipitates, and magnesium carbonate, which does not. In addition to being soluble, magnesium carbonate is a form of carbonate hardness, which requires additional lime to remove. The additional lime reacts with magnesium carbonate to form calcium carbonate and magnesium hydroxide, both relatively insoluble materials that will settle out. At this point, there needs to be a bit of clarification. A very small amount of hardness, say 35 milligram per liter, may remain in suspension depending on water pH, temperature, and other factors, but the majority of these materials will settle out. Measuring and understanding alkalinity and pH play an important role in the decisions a water operator needs to make in the course of their work. Now, let's take a look at a lime dosing problem what we want to do is calculate the lime dosage in milligrams per liter following these known parameters. The jar testing determines the alum dosage at 8.5 milligrams per liter. The raw alkalinity is measured at 9.0 milligrams per liter. The residual alkalinity needed for precipitation is 14 milligrams per liter. We already know that 1 milligram per liter of alum reacts with 0.45 milligrams per liter alkalinity. And we know that one milligram per liter of alum reacts with 0.35 milligrams per liter of lime. Begin by calculating the alkalinity that will react with the alum by using the ratio X milligrams per liter of alkalinity divided by 8.5 milligrams per liter of alum, the number we got from the jar test. This equals 0.45 milligrams per liter alkalinity over one milligram per liter alum. That means that X milligrams per liter of alkalinity equals 0.45 milligrams per liter of alkalinity times 8.5 milligrams per liter of alum divided by one milligram per liter alum, which equals 3.825 milligrams per liter. Next, calculate the total alkalinity required. Total alkalinity in milligrams per liter equals residual alkalinity in milligrams per liter plus alkalinity that is consumed by alum in milligrams per liter. The total alkalinity in milligrams per liter equals 14 milligrams per liter plus 3.825 milligrams per liter equals 17.825 milligrams per liter total alkalinity. Next, determine the amount of alkalinity that must be added to the water. Added alkalinity in milligrams per liter equals total alkalinity required in milligrams per liter minus raw water alkalinity milligrams per liter. Added alkalinity in milligrams per liter equals 17.825 milligrams per liter minus 9.0 milligrams per liter which equals 8.825 milligrams per liter 
of added alkalinity. Finally, calculate the lime dosage needed to make this alkalinity. This would be X milligrams per liter of lime divided by 8.825 milligrams per liter of alkalinity, which equals 0.35 milligrams per liter of lime over 0.45 milligrams per liter of alkalinity. So, X milligrams per liter of lime equals 0.35 milligrams per liter of lime times 8.825 milligrams per liter of alkalinity divided by 0.45 milligrams per liter alkalinity. This gives us 6.864 milligrams per liter of lime, which can be rounded up to 6.9 milligrams per liter of lime.